giving too much away, you have my favourite scene in the film, that initial car chase. Can you oh, just... good. Oh, amazing. Can you tell me a little bit about shooting that? Uh, it's one of those kind of scenes where you're, um, you, you look at it on the page and you kind of go, wow, how are they going to do that? And you get there and it becomes this whole big thing. It took almost like two weeks to shoot that thing. So, and there are about eight different vehicles involved because every car does something different. And so, you have to switch the cars out and get back in the car. And my stunt man would get in the car and test it and see all the stuff they're doing. And go, okay, so when you get in the car, you need a pad over here, you need a pad over here, you need a pad here. So, when this happens, you won't get hurt. And go, okay, great. But, you know, totally, totally, totally fun. Once you see it put together, you kind of go, wow, I'm kind of badass. It's kind of nice. I mean, obviously, imagine your work in The Matrix must have prepared you for that kind of action. Nah. Not, 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 underline not. You can confirm, you're not. I watched that movie the other night and I, I have no idea why people think we're even remotely. You know what it is, it's because you're both cool. Really, is you're that both, what it is? You're both very cool. Oh, I thought it was just a tall and black thing. Nah, I think it's because you're both pretty cool and oh, Nick okay. Fury is obviously a very cool character. Can you possibly give us a little tip on remaining cool under pressure? Um. Well, sometimes remaining cool under pressure involves the fact that, you know, it's a been there, done that kind of situation. So you kind of go, okay, that happened, so that means this is going to happen. So you've already rolled through all the scenarios and you know which one to choose that's going to get you out of a situation. Obviously, you get to work with massive legends like Scarlett and Chris. What are they like, really? What are they like, really? Yes, I don't uh, know. Well, Chris, Chris, is, Chris is great, a lot of fun. Hilarious. He uh, has some interesting dance moves. You should make him dance for you. Uh, and uh, Scarlett is just, you know, like the most amazing and sweetest girl on the planet. I mean, we've done several outside of the Marvel Universe. We've done some other films together. And I, I always relish my time with her because she's always so, uh, she's, she's way smarter than most people think. And an incredibly talented person. And she makes me laugh so much. She's hilarious. Yeah, we just we used to spend time together at like six in the morning because we were in the same makeup trailer. It was just me and her, her music, her makeup people, and my guy. And it was the best time of the day for me. Oh. Yeah, see, I even have her in my pocket. Let me show you. Got Scarlet in your pocket. <laughs> You've got Scarlett Johansson in your pocket. I love that. <laughs> Although, a quick compliment for you, the director told me, amongst that massive cast, you were the most charismatic. According to the director. There's a reason for that. It's such a cool. <laughs> no, because I'm the one that steps on set and just kind of knows what I want to do and how I want to do it, and I kind of tell them that's what's going to happen. <laughs> they said you were the two-take guy. Two-take cut guy. Two-take, yeah. Okay, Only because they want to. I'm good with one. Yeah, because they always go, well, so look, I'm going to do the same thing every time. So, Doing nothing's going to change. You know, if you're not going to change the chip in the camera or the, the magazine, there's no need in doing this twice. I'm just wasting my time. And very quickly, before I go, can you give me your favorite line from the film? If you want to get ahead of me, you got to keep both eyes open. 